Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna to be updating you guys on my 40 gallon Miranda tank. I got a couple projects that I need to finish, so stick around. All right guys, so welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be updating you guys on what's going on with my Miranda tank. Uh, so far they're doing really, really well. If you guys remember, I was having a little bit of uh, issues with the white one. Uh, she had white spot disease and luckily, luckily we came right through at, through with it. Uh, I haven't had any issues ever since. Uh, they've been doing really, really well and I can't really complain on them. If you're brand new to my channel, the black Oranda came from Coast Jam USA um, and the white Oranda came from uh, King Koi and Goldfish. The white one actually used to be a panda. Uh, had black and, and mostly white, no orange. And now it developed a lot of the orange on the head, so it's kind of a lemon head. My black Oranda used to be more and more black, and it's starting to lose a lot of the black, especially on the head. I believe the head eventually is gonna turn all orange, uh, but that's okay, we'll deal with it. All right guys, so this is how I do a water change. Now I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, I'm just saying this is how I do it. Um, I have two different hoses. One is to uh, drain the tank, uh, the, other, the other hose is to fill up the tank. I used to use the Aquion uh, Ventur Venturi valve, I think that's what they call them. Um, I used to use this a lot. This one just kind of hooks up to your, to your tap. Uh, but these things are garbage. They always broke on me. I think I bought like three of them uh, before I just got fed up with them. So I decided to build my own. Um, there's no Venturi valve. This is kind of just my own interpretation of it let me know if you guys like this design uh maybe i'll make one and give one away i don't know <laughs> let me know if you guys would be interested in that uh but basically the way it goes is it connects right up to the to the faucet on a quick release valve um i'm having trouble finding these quick release valves lately um i can't seem to find them uh, but it kind of hooks up to a quick release valve um it's just a t-connector uh, hooked up to a hose I got a metal pipe fitting down here. Um, I wanted to use plastic, but the plastic ones were really, really bulky, and I didn't have any any clearance down here. Um, I would have preferred to use plastic, but uh, seeing that I was dealing with clearance, uh, the metal one was a little bit shorter, so I'm using a metal uh, shutoff valve. So this one either opens or or closes. Okay, so seeing that this doesn't have a venturi valve, I'm using a self priming gravel vac. Uh, to assist me with that so that's kind of how I'm getting away with it um, I went ahead and added uh, an extension or a, a piece of hose uh, you could buy these at your local Ace Hardware you could you know they'll cut them to size and this one kind of just connects right up to here this is another quick release valve and then I'll bring give me one second okay so that was a little hard with one hand but I connected it right up to the quick release valve uh, the hose runs all along here. You can cut this to any size you want. Um, this is my gravel vac, like I said, and it is self-priming. So basically I have uh, the pump right here and all you have to do is, 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 is you know, squeeze it until the water starts siphoning it out. Now, if you guys can tell right there, I'm gonna keep squeezing right now, I'm trying to get all the air out and eventually the water will start draining. I think that's it. Let me see if you guys can see. But there you go guys, the water's draining. All right guys, so seeing as how I have no clearance down here, um, I added the quick connect right here because I can just pull that off right there and I'll have a good steady stream of water to kind of rinse stuff out. Right here I have my sponge filter that needs to be rinsed out. Uh, so this is aquarium water. Um, you could use a little container under here to kind of capture that water and do a better job at it. But I'm just kind of demonstrating you guys kind of a quick way how to do it. But that's kind of all you have to do. You don't have to uh, remove the whole thing. You kind of just have this here. Um, as long as the siphon is there, you shouldn't have any trouble. And you could just go ahead and rinse or or clean anything you need with the aquarium water. All right guys, so while the water is draining, let's talk about the Anubias in this tank. I have three different types 
of Anubius in here. I have a broadleaf Anubius, which is this one right here. Um, it's not a tall um, Anubius, it just has big leaves. I have a medium sized uh, leaf Anubius. Um, I can't remember the name of this one. I'll try to figure it out. Um, and I also have uh, Anubius Nana. But the Anubius Nana is the only one that doesn't seem to be doing that well. Uh, the middle one is doing amazing and I think this one is doing really really well because it's closer to the light uh, But this one just keeps sprouting out brand new leaves like all these are brand new leaves. I believe this one's a brand new leaf uh, from when I first um, Cut it so all these are brand new leaves This one is the same as this one and as you guys can tell this one's a lot bigger and I think that's just because it's closer up to the light uh, the Anubius Broadleaf is doing really, really well. I just think this one's a little bit of a slower grower, uh, even slower than all the other ones, but it's it's shooting out leaves. This one's a brand new leaf, this one's a brand new leaf, and you guys can tell the other one right here. All right, guys, so one of the other tips I can give you guys is that for my prime conditioner, I went ahead and bought an easy dose medicine dispenser. It comes with a syringe. Um, with milliliters on it uh, one of the things that I had difficulty or, or kind of you know I'm a little bit of a perfectionist sometimes is that I want to know the exact amount of prime conditioner that I'm adding so this is perfect for that basically this replaces your cap it goes on there just make sure it's all the way on there as far as you can um, it is a medicine dispenser uh, for a syringe so these little plastic syringes go right in here there's no needle it's just a plastic syringe for medicine and what you do is you stick it in there all the way flip it upside down pull the syringe to the right amount I can't do it with one hand uh, and pull the right amount of uh, prime conditioner take it out put that into your tank or or whatever you, you uh, treat your water first and this goes right back on all right guys, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I add the water. Um, I use a totally different um, siphon uh, simply because I don't want contaminated water or dirty water to still be in here while I'm adding, um, adding water to this tank. I just want it to be clean water, so I'm using a brand new siphon. Um, this one connects right up to here as well. And it's got a little hook, so basically what I do is I just go ahead all the way up to the tank and hook it in here. I tend to put it right next to the filter so it's, it's you know, doesn't make too much of a mess, but I put it right next to the filter. So I'll come over here, and if you guys remember, I have a valve down here, so I'll leave that open. I have another little check valve over here. I'll close that up, and then I can test the water with the temperature that I want or the temperature that you want that you're most comfortable with. Um, so that's kind of where I want it. That seems about right. You can use a thermometer if you want. Uh, but before when I used to use um, these ones, I would always, always forget to open this up. And then I would just kind of close that. And boom, that would break. Um, right now, you know, I don't have it too tight right here. So I'm, it's leaking a little bit right here just because I don't have it too tight. Uh, but before, this thing would have broke already. So now all I have to do is open that up. The water start going into the tank. And as you guys can tell, the water's down there. I'll come back here and just make sure, double check it again. So that's it guys, the water's gonna fill up right there. Just make sure your filter is primed. Uh, you should know that by now, but if you don't, um, just make sure to add water to your filter before anything. Um, we're going to let this fill up. It's going to go really, really slow. So we'll come back once it's almost done. All right, guys. So thanks for sticking all the way to the end. In about two weeks or so, or the first week of August, I will be in San Diego and I will be visiting Coast Jam USA. So I will be doing like a store tour of Coast Jam USA, of uh, possibly getting another Oranda for, the, for this tank. Uh, possibly a smaller one, something that's probably half the size of the white one. Uh, but I don't know. Once I'm down there, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be tempted to buy something. Also, if you guys uh, like the valve that I made, 
Uh, make sure to put, or uh, if you guys want me to make a video about it, make sure to write in the comments below, uh, make valve, and I'll make a brand new one of this one, and I'll give that one away. So I'll give a brand new uh, valve for you uh, that you could win. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. All you have to do is in the comments write, make valve, I'll make one of these, and then I'll pick somebody to win it. So somebody will get a brand new one, a uh, brand new valve from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for sticking all the way to the end, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day, guys.